Have you ever heard the term happy wife, happy life? Well, apparently more than one rock star didn't get the memo. If you pick wrong, it can go wrong. We've got a list of 10 rock star spouses that went absolutely wrong. and We have it today right here on Geargasm. Hi kids, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. Today, we're gonna do something a little different. We came up with the top 10 worst rock wives of all time list. There were so many to choose from, it was hard to get it down to just 10, but we've done that for you today. We'll get right into that list, but first, if you're new here, please like and subscribe. We really, really appreciate the support. Starting off with number 10. Now, if you've watched any of my top 10 lists, you know I like to sneak two into that first spot. Today's no different. And today, number 10, is Bobby Brown. I know what you're thinking. That's just one person, right? You're wrong. Because first, there's this Bobby Brown. Then, there's this Bobby Brown. Now, Bobby Brown was a prototypical L.A. groupie kind of hoe. She went with everyone from Matthew Nelson, eventually marrying Janie Lane of Warrant. Hard to say if Janie Lane would have gone down the path that he did go down had it not been for Bobby Brown. Also hard to say that Bobby Brown may not have gone down the path that she did without Janie Lane. I'm not assigning blame here. Yes, she was the cherry pie girl, and I'll let you drink that in for a second, just because it's still hot after all these years. I can't blame Janie so much, but she was probably the worst possible person to be married to him. They were both hardcore drug users, and they brought out the worst in each other. Now, the other Bobby Brown, I know what you're saying. He's not a rock wife. Yeah, he kind of was. Sure, he had his own career. We loved him in New Edition. We loved his solo career. I made this money. You didn't write Ted. We're out of here is maybe one of the greatest rock lyrics of the decade. But Whitney was the greatest voice of our generation. He leached onto her like so many other rock wives before him. He brought drugs into the marriage. Soon they were wrestling over the last rock of crack. They had that horrible train wreck of a reality show on Bravo called Being Bobby Brown. Crack may be whack, but he's still here and she's not. Number nine on our list of the worst rock wives in history. Brace yourselves, it's Linda McCartney. Now Linda herself, I'm sure she was a fine person, a woman of substance. However, she makes the list for two reasons. Number one, he put her on stage with the band. Now, that's something you should never do with your wife if you're a rock star. Please, for the love of God, do not put her in your band. So that alone kind of puts her on the list. Not sure if it's her fault or Paul's fault, but she should have never been in Wings. The second reason she's on the list is because she turned Sir Paul into a vegetarian or maybe even a vegan, and nobody gives a crap about that. I'm like a lot of people. I enjoy a good burger every now and then. I don't need Paul and Linda McCartney telling me I can't have a steak. Just make your music, keep Linda down in the mix, and get on with it. Number eight, Heather Locklear. Oh my gosh, she could have been on this list twice. Because not only was she a terrible, terrible wife to Tommy Lee, and that's saying a lot, she was an even worse wife to Richie Sambora. You would think one rock star would pull a lesson from another rock star. Maybe they'd sort of back channel each other and say, hey bro, I'm thinking about taking Heather out. What are your thoughts? If he'd simply made that phone call to Tommy Lee, I'm sure that whole thing could have been avoided. One bad marriage, two bad marriages, two rock stars, neither of those men are princes, but God damn, have you seen her lately? Talk about a whack biatch. Number seven on our list, Sharon Osbourne. Sharon! Sharon Osbourne, in the early parts of Ozzy's solo career, she was a big, big help to him. Her daddy's money helped push that first tour along, get a record deal. And all throughout the years, 
She has probably been the single most important thing that has kept Ozzy alive. And for that, Sharon, we thank you. But throughout the years on tours, Sharon was a nightmare on the road. Sure, she was trying to be protective of Ozzy, but protecting Ozzy does not mean sticking it in the backsides of all of his band members, screwing them on the business side of the world. Not to mention the fact that the whole Osborne reality show, Meet the Osborne series, that was 100% Sharon. She turned the Prince of Darkness into this farting, flaccid, slightly fat, old, drug-addled man. And for that reason alone, she's on our list. Number six, back to the Beatles, Patty Boyd Harrison Clapton. Now, beautiful girl, married to George Harrison. Everything's going great. He writes something for her, one of the greatest songs in the Beatles catalog. So right away, we've got a nice, strong, good start for Patty Boyd. But then all of a sudden, she starts sneaking around on the side with Eric Clapton who just happens to be perhaps George Harrison's best friend. And then he comes up with, with what is yet another great, great rock song about this same woman, Layla. So now she's two for two for great rock songs. Makes her a great rock wife, except for the fact that she cheated on her boy with his boy. But no, Eric sure just left it alone. He decides to write one last rock song for her and blows the whole thing up. Wonderful tonight. So in one song, Eric Clapton completely destroyed the legacy of what could have been rock and roll's greatest muse. And that's why she's on our list. Before I forget, it's t-shirt shout out time. The Beatles, I love this shirt kids. Simple, plain, iconic, literally just icons silhouettes, fun, fantastic, my favorite Beatles shirt. And while we're speaking of the Beatles, Geargasm's number of the day is four. There are four Beatles, there are four Beatles wives on this list. Did every Beatle put a wife on the list? Stay tuned to the very end to find out. Number five, worst rock wife in history, Ike Turner. What's love got to do with it? Apparently not a whole lot. When you've got your ringed finger smacking Tina Turner around. We all saw the movie. We believe every frame of it. Ike Turner, you're a bad, bad man. And again, is he a wife? Kinda, sorta. Ike and Tina became legendary in the late 60s, but he just couldn't stay off the booze and the cocaine. And instead of putting her on the pedestal that she deserved, he decided it would be a good idea to, to stay drunk, stay drugged up, smack her around a whole lot, and ruin everything that they'd built together. Are we having fun yet, kids? Number four on our list, it's another Beatles wife. Jesus, Paul, you make some really bad decisions when it comes to marriages, but Heather Mills. Now, who could blame Sir Paul? He was still mourning the, the tragic death of Linda. We had every reason to hope this was going to be fairy tale, happily ever after kind of marriage. But then she got greedy. She decided she didn't want any more of that action. Now, ordinarily, I would never make a joke about someone with a disability. But as soon as the, the news broke of the split and that she was trying to steal his fortune, the first twisted joke that came to my mind is she thinks she's going to get Sir Paul's fortune, but his lawyer says she doesn't have a leg to stand on. Now that's a mean joke. It's beneath me. But she's a bitch. She deserves it. She's number four on our list. Number three on our list. It's Pamela Anderson. I'm just going to give her her original surname here because she was not only married to Tommy Lee, and that's not why she's on this list. You could argue that Tommy Lee at that time was a lot worse off than she was and that he debased and degraded and defiled her. But by the time she got into her marriage with Kid Rock, which is why she's on this list, hepatitis B, sagging everything. She was definitely on the downslope, but whatever. Maybe he was like me in his younger years. He thought she was the ultimate babe. I don't know what's going on. 
but she was a bad rock wife in not one but two marriages. Of course, if you remember the infamous Pam and Tommy honeymoon tape, the footage on the boat, I'll put a little bit up right there for you to just sort of drink in while I finish up this bit about her. So I'm not really sure which bad rock marriage she's on this list because of, but damn, there's at least three there. She's number three on our list. Number two on our list of the worst rock wives of all time, Yoko. I know what you're thinking. She's not number one. She maybe shoulda, coulda, woulda been, but she was the first rock wife probably to be pulled into a major band and put on stage. You just don't do that. She has not one ounce of talent in her body. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to just sit here quietly and let you drink a minute or two of this in before I say another damn thing. If for no other reason to dislike Yoko, I present to you side two of Double Fantasy. She would have been number one on our list, and here's why she's not. Somehow after John's death, she little by little over the years has redeemed herself. She has been a wonderful custodian of his legacy, of his art, of his music. I have an enormous amount of respect for the way she has led her life since that shooting so long ago. And finally, the number one worst rock wife of all time, this person gave us a brand new C word at the time. And it's Courtney Love. Sure, she had her own band. Sure, she was kind of semi-famous. She'd been in some small parts in movies and she'd been around the scene. And then she immediately sucked her blood-sucking fangs right into him and hastened his demise. The worst possible spouse for a drug addict is another drug addict. He brought out the worst in her, and she certainly brought out the worst in him. So congratulations, Courtney Love. You dirty, worn out, old slag. You are disgusting, and you're number one on our list. Well, what did we learn today, kids? We learned that you don't even have to be a woman to be a bad rock wife. We've learned that the Beatles, for all of their musical acumen, were not necessarily the greatest when it came to picking spouses and girlfriends. As always, thank you for your time. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. I hope you will like and subscribe. We hope to keep seeing you week after week right here on Geargasms.